Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. You got your eye open. You're not asleep. Okay, well, he's lazy. Well, uh, <laughs> hey, guys. So, uh, today I'm actually here with a little overview. I'm going to be reviewing my dog, of course, uh, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, what I'm actually going to be doing for you guys today is giving you a little tour of my new computer. Uh, so, I know a lot of you guys have seen, slow that back on, right, but whatever. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have seen, I've been trying to get myself a nice computer built for past, uh, most of this year, I guess. I don't know how long it's been, but, uh, so I finally got it all the, I was finally able to get the money up and get all the parts ordered, and I, uh, built it all, uh, a few days ago. So, uh, it's been a couple days, so I figure, um, about time to go ahead and give you guys a little tour of it, but I know I've got a lot of requests to do office tours and whatnot. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that in this video just because it's, well, it's not really done. <laughs> I don't know. I've got I've got more cleaning and organizing and whatnot to do. But uh, what I will do is give you guys a little tour of my uh, computer and desk and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so starting with the uh, the biggest thing on this desk is my uh, ASUS 23 inch uh, 1080p monitor. Uh, I was actually was totally not expecting to get a monitor this big and this nice, but I was actually able to get it on Newegg. It was really cheap. Uh, I was ordering my computer like the day, the morning I was ordering it. I noticed that they had this weight to mark down. It's actually an IPS display, which like awesome viewing angles, great color. This is a nice, nice display, and I got it for cheap, so I was able to buy it. Um, you see down here, uh, my speaker is the Wowie One. Now uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen. I reviewed this uh, February. I don't know when. I, I, I reviewed it a while back. Um, it's actually a really, really cool speaker. Uh, I've got it hooked up. Well, actually, it's it's just charging right now. But I've got it hooked up where you know when I'm playing games and whatnot. I mean, it'll it'll get this whole desk vibrating. Very cool. And speaking of the desk, I know it looks like it looks terrible. It's got this terrible, terrible finish where any little scratch looks like you know just disgusting. But yeah, whatever. Um, as you can see, here's my mouse and keyboard. Uh, <clears throat> as you can kind of guess, I spent all my money on the. Uh, computer, and I didn't have much left for a mouse and keyboard, but yeah, it's, actually, it's not that bad. Uh, moving over here, show you guys my Audio Technica AT2020. Uh, this is the microphone I use. You guys can see see it in D3 Live sometimes. Uh, this is pretty much what I use for all my videos these days. Um, I use it for like voiceovers always. Um, I also use it for like like for videos where if I'm like showing a product, wherever usually I'll have this and my laptop off to the side. Uh, really good mic. Looks cool too, uh, I think so. Uh, and over here I've got my uh, Beats by Dre Studio headphones. Uh, these are pretty decent. Um, I'm a big headphone guy. Uh, I don't really like, I, don't know, I, I guess it's just because I never really play loud music and stuff. I always like to you know, have my headphones and listen to stuff as loud as I want without people getting annoyed at me. So uh, yeah, these are my headphones. They're nice and comfortable, but I'm, pro I'm looking to upgrade these. Just I don't know, I'm just not really satisfied with the audio quality, but that's kind of another story. Um, so let's go ahead and get into uh, the computer itself. So, uh, as you guys can see here, this is the half, uh, the Cooler Master Half 912 case. Uh, it's actually a kind of a cheap case, but man, I've got to say, I really like the look of it. Uh, so, I'll give, give you guys a little uh, tour of it. Um, you see here, you've got USB and power and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, have a DVD burner in there, Blu ray. I didn't really have any use for Blu ray. I've got a card reader, which is kind of weird. You guys can see here, because you know, obviously I'm doing video all day. Um, but the SD card is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. In fact, I wish I had an SD card to show you guys. It, like, goes upside down. It goes in, like, a quarter of the way. Like, I have no idea. Um, up front here, I have two 120mm uh, fans pulling air in. Uh, this, fan, this case has good cooling. Uh, but let's go ahead and get the side panel off. Let's see if I can do this without dropping the panel with one hand. There we go. Didn't destroy anything, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah, guys, this is the... Uh, <clears throat> this is the inside of the case. Now, I know before anybody says anything, I am not done with the wiring. I know it looks like some, like an electrician threw up or something in here, but uh, no, I've just got a few things wire tied. It's not final yet. I just got done building it, and there's still more tweaking and whatnot to be done, so the wiring I know looks horrible, and I'll get that fixed. But anyway, uh, let me give you guys a quick little uh, overview of uh, what all is in here. Um, in fact, I'll see if I can get you guys a better angle. I got a DVD drive and all that kind of stuff in there. I have a two terabyte uh, uh, spinning hard drive in here, so that's where I'm going to be putting all my videos, you know, all the kind of larger files and whatnot. Um, if you guys can see, all the way down here 
is a little two and a half inch uh, hard drive caddy. I have a 500 gigabyte uh, laptop drive that I just had laying around that I figured you know might as well use. And then below that, I don't think you guys can see, but below that is my uh, OCZ Vertex 3 solid state drive. It's 120 gigs, and that's what I have. Uh, you know, all my, you know, Windows on, all my Steam games, applications and whatnot. And I've got to say, guys, if you've never used a computer with a solid state drive, it's absolutely awesome. I mean, I've come in from, like, a laptop and stuff where, you know, like, in fact, that, that hard drive came out of that laptop. And, you know, it's, uh, spinning hard drives are okay, but, man, solid state drives just get stuff done so fast. It's really nice. Um, so if I can uh, lean over here, uh, you'll find... My uh, Gigabyte Z68 motherboard. Uh, not a big fan of that motherboard, to be honest. Uh, if I was buying another one, I probably would not buy that. I'd probably go with something else. But it, it, it's okay. I'm getting most of the kinks worked out. Um, as you can see here, I have 8 gigabytes of Corsair Dominator RAM. And you can see that they're uh, that's probably the coolest color in the world. I mean, come on. like Black, yellow, red. No, this is light blue. Come on. Uh, so here's my... Uh, uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus uh, CPU cooler. I uh, love this cooler. Man, this computer, um, I've got a uh, Intel Core i7 2600K um, below that. And man, I have not been able to get that CPU above 100, 105 degrees, you know, gaming, all kinds of stuff. Now, I haven't overclocked just yet. Like I said, I'm just, uh, there's still some tweaks and whatnot I want to get worked out before I get everything overclocked and running 100%. But uh, yeah, this thing is ice, this thing just runs icy cold. Um, speaking of fans, if you guys can see here, I've got a 120 millimeter fan right here, 120 millimeter fan right here, and 120 millimeter fan right here. So I've got a lot of airflow around this heat sink, and in fact, I could add another one right here if my RAM wasn't so tall. Uh, so yeah, this this thing will be able to I'll be able to overclock it really nice and easy. Uh, coming down here, move this cable out of the way. You guys can see there's my graphics card. Um, I'm using an ASUS Radeon 6850. Uh, I like the graphics card. Um, in fact, I've been able. I was planning on buying another one and putting it in Crossfire, and I can still do that if I want. But um, for right now, I'm able with this graphics card to run any game that I play right now at max settings at 1080p without any frame rate issues. So I figure, you know, I'll probably end up getting another one and overclocking and whatnot once like some cool game like Battlefield 3 comes out that this won't be able to run maxed out. But until then, that is uh, perfect. Uh, all of this bundle of wires. In fact, I'll let me walk around and show you guys from the back. Um, I have the uh, Corsair TX750 uh, power supply. It's got 750 watts, more than enough when I decide to add a 6850 and all that kind of stuff. Um, and yes, guys, I'm using VGA. Laugh at me if you want. It's just not, the DVI isn't working. Again, I've got some tweaks and whatnot to work out. Anyway, guys, that's about it for my uh, my little overview of the uh, new computer and whatnot. Uh, hopefully, you guys found this video interesting. And uh, yeah, I was I do want to say one thing. Uh, kind of this is a little bit of an apology. Um, I know I said that I would do a video showing you how to build a computer, but I ran into some problems while I was building it. I've got like about two and a half hours of footage uh, already recorded, but when I got into putting the CPU cooler on, I had a problem. I almost broke it. Um, and when I obviously, so I had to shut the camera and go fix it. And by the time I had it fixed. Uh, you know, I had the whole CPU cooler thing I couldn't use. And then when I tried to, when I was recording, putting the motherboard in, it didn't get that totally lined up right, and so I would have had to re-record that. So, after I had those problems, I just stopped recording, which I probably should have just stopped and uh, pulled everything out and re-recorded it. But unfortunately, I was not able to get a video showing you guys how to rec uh, how to put it together. So I do apologize for that, but uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. And if, to make it up for you guys, because I do kind of feel bad, if you have any questions or anything about how I built the computer, uh, definitely be sure to leave them in the comments. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But anyway, that's about it for my uh, little overview and desk tour and computer tour and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, catch you guys later.